Okay, everyone, let's go. This gets more complicated every year. It's more complicated every year. Thank you. All right, boys and girls, let us go to the place for fools. Yeah, come on, come on. Let's go, everyone. I'm wearing my uh, Burberry trench to go with Leslie's Burberry trench, so we're matching. <laughs> Let's go, missus. I'll carry it, Leslie. It's okay. I'll carry it. Has everyone got their backpacks? What? Has everyone got backpacks? All right. I'm going the other side. Yeah, scooch across. That's Andrea's seat. That is Andrea's seat. Maybe Wardo will sit in Andrea's seat. No. No. <laughs> you can put Leslie's bag in Andrea's seat. Because we ran out of coffee. Coffee. Not my fault, because I don't drink it. Anymore. Well, that's the thing, that's the thing. The little Miss Confident over here. I don't drink coffee. You don't have an addiction to the drug. No. Oh. Thank you. Look at that, huh? Stay smooth, you didn't see that part. I work for day here, four parents. All this time when I do All this time? Yeah. yeah. We should do a thing though, we should do coffee mornings. Anyway, I just came for an Americano. All right, we got it. Like I always double up with the things because I have sensitive fingers. I don't do. Yeah, no, John. Oh, maybe it's not for me. Bring it back and just throw it in the maybe floor. It's a sugary pumpkin spice latte. Oh, you don't realize it. Sugar and coffee. That's the worst thing. Sugar and coffee. Nope. Sugar, sugar and popcorn. Nope. They're things that I don't agree with. The coffee has arrived, guys. So, we went to Starbucks this morning because we had no coffee and then the coffee arrived. <laughs> this is my collection of coffees. And here's Anna's collection of coffees. This is what Anna drinks. Well, coffee without the coffee. I haven't tried it. We have, no, I got this, I got this. It's an experiment, a decaffeinato. But when I am um, a social, okay, it doesn't work up, I can. Look at these little free gifts I got, though. Because I ordered this um, limited edition uh, Brazilian one. Because remember we were in the hotel 
and I had uh, that coffee from said America and I was like that was really nice this is from Zimbabwe cool, cool. Zimbabwe coffee Colombian coffee and I think these ones are just kind of the normal ones um, Cool. How was it? Was it fun? <laughs> yeah, well, the whole world knows now. And I went to Colombia. <laughs> What's the place you went to? I don't know. What is it again? The cars. Jamaica? No, one of the cars. Where we drove the car, you know? <laughs> what? It sounds like Colombia when it's not. Cozumel? No. Cuba. Yeah. Havana, here we are. I lost my heart is in Havana. My heart is in Havana. You don't even know the word. Havana. Right? You don't even know the word. You don't even Oh yeah, I suppose yeah, you can get Cuba. I think you can get Cuban coffee. It is cool that we have been to Cuba. <laughs> Cuba is cool, but uh, we have not been to Colombia or Zimbabwe. We should go to Colombia. Okay, at least we didn't say Zimbabwe. Yeah. It's really weird. Zimbabwe. Uh, I mean Ireland. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. I just got that mixed. <laughs> you know, all these exotic places that I've been to. No, Cuba is pretty. Cuba is cool. Not a lot of people have been to Cuba. Most exotic I've ever been to. Jamaica. Well, yeah, uh, it was the same trip. Yeah, it came that whole that whole loop that we did. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> what are you laughing at me? Well, you're just like Colombia. <laughs> it was miles away, like. Okay, so I am going to make chicken sausages. Very excited, very excited for this, guys. Uh, they go off today, so hopefully they're okay. I'm sure they're fine. But uh, I've never had chicken sausages. My granny used to say that the best before a date is a lie. Is it? I don't know. I think she just said that. But she used to say that like there's weeks. You can go weeks. Maybe. After, but I don't think that's true. Maybe. Don't take well, look, we can go to um, Dalesford and we can actually ask them. Do your chickens go off? I got four of them in so far. I think they look great. I'm just uh, getting this one area. Put the compost in the bottom. I'm just getting uh, the little. It's not. It's not a root ball, but I still like beat it a little bit to get the thing out. Um, see this, this is, uh, these are all the power. They're a bit annoying, but I do kind of want the option to be able to put lights underneath all of these, like the way we have them at the front. So that's why we have all these power boxes running along. Planning ahead, I may or may not do that, but uh, could be cool at Christmas. Okay, progress update. We are getting somewhere. They look really good, don't they? I love them. Oh, my plan, my measurement plan, by the way, is I use the compost. I am measuring between the things, so I lay the compost down between them. And that's how I'm uh, creating the spacing. But I think it looks really good. I love it. You know, how good is it going to be when the grass comes by here and goes all the way down there and it looks seamless? It's going to look so nice, you know? Oh, no. Okay, so what happened? is that the kids got home from school and I ran inside to do bath time. Kids are in bed, so I've come out here and we're gonna get a little bit more done. Slow and steady, slow and steady. Uh, it rained a bit, which would have softened up the ground, but um, they all look good. The compost is definitely activated, as you can see. Uh, they all look pretty good so far <laughs> i try to just make it look neater by just sticking some of the grass that i cut it up this plan is working well so far my uh my measurement plan it's pretty good so we stick this here like this and then we look on the edge there and then start cutting dig in around here boom okay so oh geez there we go sunday guys sunday sunday Sunny Sunday, um, kids are asleep, and uh, oh, the camera's still. This is the one that I left out by accident overnight. Well, uh, yeah, look at the trees. Oh, you can't see them, it's too sunny. But I'm gonna put up um, the next two over here, and then we have the full main line done. It looks great, I really like it. I really like it a lot. 
I like it a lot. The plants are nice. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. I'm really happy. I'm happy so far. Also, what a surprise this morning. We woke up to find um, the Irish, or the Irish, the Sunday Times had uh, have published us in the um, influencer list, the top 100 influencer list. How cool is that, though? What a what a what a time to be security. <laughs> like we've got um, the the documentary which is airing on Wednesday. We're the number one most influential family in the UK. Mental, mental. Anyway, um, I'm going to influence you all to plant trees. That's why. That's how I'm going to use my influence. Look at that. It's beautiful. I love it. I love it. It gives a sense of like texture and depth. You know, and I know people were saying like, oh, Jonathan, what are you going to do about all this stuff? We still have this over here, as you can see. Um, this is where we drive up and down. You know, so the gator drives up and down here. The trees are only going to go as far as here. They're not obviously going to block this off. So we can still drive up and down. And when the grass falls over, just wait. Wait it out. Wait it out. It will, uh, it will show itself. But just, I love it. I love it. I think it just looks so pretty. Ta-da! It is complete. I have completed my plan. I think it's so cool. I love it. I love it. I think it's so pretty. I know that some people won't like it, but you know, that's the whole point of human nature. We're all into different things, but uh, I like it. I'm happy. I'm happy with my creation. Huh? And at Christmas, I can put like little lights on them all. It'll look cool. <laughs> Ah, it took about four days to get all that done, but I love it. I'm very happy. We've got the whole gang here. Cause, what are you, oi, what are you shouting about? <laughs> Cause we are making popcorn. We're testing out the popcorn machine. Uh, it hasn't popped it. Well, it has popped one or two little corns, but it's our first maiden voyage. Huh? He's very excited about the situation. Are you excited about the situation, mister? It smells amazing. It smells like popcorn. Imagine that. But it smells amazing. It smells like the cinema in here. What are you doing? What are you doing up there? What are you doing up there? I want to jump. You want to jump? Yeah. Right. Jump. Jump, 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 jump. Woo! <laughs> Jabba's not jumping. Whoa. Somebody's finding their voice. Somebody's finding their voice. Right. Have we got any more popcorns that we know about? It smells like a cinema in here. Yeah, we got a couple of poppers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a couple of poppers. Look, 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 look. And what about salt? No, I haven't added salt. But I'll salt them in the bottom. Oh. oh, oh, oh! You see that, guys? We got a couple of poppers. Andrea! <laughs> so, Jonathan and the kids, can you hear Andrea? He's just gone crazy. Um, are making the popcorn. Sorry, I'm pulling up my jeans. Oh, you know when you take jeans out of the dryer? <laughs> They take a while to like break them in again. That's what I'm going through right now. My jeans, I put them on this morning. I was like, oh. <laughs> um, anyway, so Jonathan and the kids are making the popcorn because they are doing a trial run before Amelia's birthday party. I got just inspired to bake this morning. I just, I'm making mini crumb cakes. This is the recipe that I'm using. It makes six. Here is the batter, and then I found these cute cupcake cases, which are perfect for autumn. I love baking in the autumn. Um, and I'm just mixing this up together. It sounds like it's exciting in there. Let's go and see what's going on. Is it working? That's so cool. It's so cool. Oh my isn't god. It? I think the hole there is for all the little things are going. Yeah, yeah, they all fall back into the thing so you can put them back in again. Oh, cool. 
It's like an open net. Did you put stuff in yeah, there? Yeah, I put a slab of water in. Oh salt. my god, that's why it's so um. <laughs> careful, Amelia, it's hot. Popcorn, popcorn, get yourself some popcorn. Oh my goodness. This is so cool, guys. Huh? This is so cool. And look, all the little bits, they, well, they fall underneath. I'm learning how to use this thing. This is so cool, though. Oh my goodness. What is going on? Alessia Francesca, where are you bringing the baby? <laughs> Come on, get out of here. Get out of town. I'm just now making dinner, which is very late for me. Um, but I'm gonna make lasagna. So I haven't got every ingredient, but I'm actually kind of like mixing a recipe from, you know, it was it's not meant to be lasagna, but I'm kind of mixing it up. Got my lasagna here. It's actually half a pack that I just have left over. That's why I kind of changed my mind and decided to do this instead. Onion, celery, I'm gonna grab some tomatoes, and then I've got turkey as well. Also gonna put in some garlic, some dried oregano, basil, which I have over there. Then I'm gonna make the sauce, um, which I think I have all the ingredients for. If I don't, it's not a big deal. I'm making it with turkey mints. That fridge is open, oops. Because we don't really, yeah, we don't eat red meat anymore at all, really. Maybe Jonathan does when he goes out. Can't remember the last time I did though ages ago but I never really liked red meat to begin with anyway. Oh yeah. This recipe is adapted from a bolognese bake recipe which I've made a few times before but like I said I found the lasagna so I thought I would do lasagna instead. Okay dinner is in the oven it is just about ready um that took a lot longer now like half five which is quite late for the kids to eat they usually eat at five but it does smell amazing um i got the snacks done i mean i just need an apple one more thing eduardo wants a banana then they've got dried mango and popcorn for their afternoon snack so that is their snacks they've got dried mango in there and in the top section and then um, popcorn in the bottom. There are waters. Doggies are being fed. I have not done the meal plan yet, but this is ready to go. So let me take that out of the oven. It smells divine. It's cheesy. It's a cheesy delight. And that's the end of the video, friends. Congratulations for those of you that are still here that have uh, stayed the whole way all the way to the end of the week, all the way to the end of the video. Did you watch the first second on Monday and the last second on Friday? So what a week, what a week, guys. If you missed the um, Stacey Dooley Sleeps Over documentary featuring us on W Channel on Wednesday, because it was on at 10 o'clock, it is being replayed on Saturday night at 11 o'clock, Sunday at nine o'clock, a civilized hour. A civilized Sunday hour. And maybe there's things that you missed, or maybe you've missed it completely and you want to watch it for the first time. It'll be on then, my friends. I am starting to think that Alessia may need her own show. I love the way she says, yes. She doesn't say, yeah, yeah, or no. It's like, yes. Um, just collected her from school about an hour ago as well. She's completed her first week in school. And the reports have been very positive. I'm um, just really proud of her every day when I go to collect her and she comes out with her little school bag on and she runs up to me and now and it took over the first few days to look for me and now she knows to look for me so she comes up and she knows where I'm standing and she looks there and a big smile goes on her face and she runs over to me and a big cuddle cuddles and I'm like oh I'm so proud of you look at you out in the world also this weekend is the slumber party it's happening tomorrow night live from the Sakona Chodi's home. Uh, so uh, that's gonna be exciting. That's probably gonna be Monday's episode will be Amelia's seventh birthday party. I don't think I've ever said this here, but I've been pushing this uh, partition to get the government to um, address and rectify and look into maybe changing the laws um, to protect uh, people online. You know, I feel like, I feel as one of, 
part of the first generation of people who have had the internet. I didn't have the internet growing up. I've only ever had the internet as an adult. And I use it as a tool and I've built businesses on it and I feel like I've pioneered in certain areas and I feel like the internet has been this oasis that I have um, I've had the opportunity to be part of its um, refinement and creation. But the next generation coming up, I want to make sure that it's a safe and happy place. If you guys have seen that documentary from Jess from Lil Mix, the, the, some of the stuff, and it, you know, and, it, and it's not just Jess's story. It's like she's a story of an, uh, thousands of other people. It's just she is she has a massive voice and a massive platform where she's able to tell her story, and it's like boom, it's so powerful. And I thought. It was such good timing that we had that partition going, so we started pushing the partition. And you know, Stacy asked me that question in the show about um, trolling and stuff like that. And I just think I feel like there's hope. I feel like it's we're we're on the cusp of something. While I'm making this video right now, we're at 95,000 signatures. Uh, I will leave a link down below, guys. It's the uh, whole trolls accountable for their online abuse via their IP addresses. When we get to 100,000 signatures, the petition will be considered for debate in Parliament. Who even knows if Parliament will even exist? in a week. <laughs> I could be the new speaker of the house. John Parico is stepping down as speaker of the house. I could be order, order. I could do it guys, vote for me. <laughs> me speaker of the house. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching videos guys. Uh, give us a like, don't we already say all that stuff. You know, the likes and comments and subscriptions and things like that. And uh, enjoy your weekend, sign the petition, uh, watch the uh, documentary if you already missed it. And I'll see you on Monday. Good night, God bless. Slow and lot, I guess. Now we're doing it. Together we're stronger.